Welcome back to the Elevate Media Podcast. I'm Chris Anderson, your host. This is the place for you as an entrepreneur and an innovator and a place to learn, a place to grow, and a place, you know, just have a good time. Now, today I want to discuss how we can master content marketing, especially as those, especially for those who are starting out as a solo entrepreneur, like I did when I first started Elevate. We're going to get into how you can plan, create, and distribute engaging content all by yourself. So, whether you're multitasking right now or you have a notepad ready, this episode is going to be packed with practical advice that you don't want to miss. So, let's get into it. All right, so first, content marketing isn't just for the big players with a big team. You know, in today's digital world, even you, as a one-person show, you can make a significant impact. And this is why content marketing is so crucial. Why? It's your voice in the crowded marketplace. It's helping you connect with your audience, build trust, and establish your brand. But how do you do it all alone? So first things first, planning. Without a plan, you're like a ship without a rudder. You got to start by setting clear, achievable goals. What do you want your content to actually accomplish? What do you want it to do? You want more website traffic? Do you want more sales? Then you have to understand your audience. What do they want to know? What are their pain points? And then most importantly, where are they going to be online? What social media platform is going to be your best bet? When you know this, this helps you decide what content to create and where to share it. For example, if your audience is on Twitter, you might not need a bunch of video content right at the beginning. But say a lot of them are on TikTok, then you're going to really want to focus on your video content, how it looks, how it sounds, and things of that nature. So it all depends on where your audience is and what they want. Then... You've got to talk about the actual creation itself. Now, with this, just like podcasting, just like showing up on social media, consistency is key, but so is quality. And there are things that can help you get the best quality possible and create the best quality content uh, and also make it relatable and relative. You know, there's tools like Canva that you can help you design things. There's Grammarly for writing to make things sound better. Uh, if you're like me, you definitely need Grammarly. Uh, to to uh, edit and check what you write. And then there's, you know, tools to help you schedule your plan. And then there's tools to help you schedule your posts out. But you got to remember, don't always create from scratch if you don't have to. Use tools to, you know, decrease the time you spend on it and get things done. You can also repurpose your content, which is why I'm a huge advocate for having video podcast. Because not only do you have the long form video podcast episode, well, you can break that down into any sort of content you can think of. Quotes for Twitter, blog posts for your website, quotes to put on LinkedIn or static posts for Facebook, video posts for Instagram and TikTok and Facebook as reels. You can do so much just by recording once, and then you have the long form again on YouTube and things of like that. So it's about working smarter, not harder, and be able to record once and then break down that into all sorts of pieces, hundreds of pieces of content. Uh, is working smarter. So if you need any help launching a podcast or getting that set up or even the editing side of things, reach out. We could definitely help you uh, take that to the next level. Okay, so now you've created great content. Awesome, but you got to get it out there. That's the next step. Obviously, you're going to use social media and use it to your advantage, right? Don't just do the endless scrolling to waste a bunch of time. Actually, use it as a tool. But don't just post and ghost. This is a hard one, you know, and I found myself in it as well. Hosting and then getting off the platform. You've got to actually engage with your audience, and that's going to help you grow the most. Again, it's something even I, when I post, sometimes struggle with because I just want to post and, you know, go play with my kids or something. Um, but just spending a few, you know, 15 minutes before and after you post and just focusing on engaging with your audience, whether that be going and commenting on their stuff, interacting with their post replying to people who reply or comment on yours, uh, asking questions, things like that, starting a conversation, it's all going to be a benefit. And it doesn't take a lot of time, a whole lot of time when you're posting. So, and then there's email marketing. It's a powerful tool, direct and personal, and keeps your audience engaged over time. So as you're building this list, use email marketing to nurture on a more specific uh, way and path. 
um, to keep connected. And then there's SEO, and this helps optimize your content. This allows you to be found on search engines, and it's a it's an important part and one you don't want to overlook. So then we got to measure success and adjust our strategies, right? What's working? What's not working well? You know, you got to keep an eye on all those metrics, but you don't need to stare there, right? Um, so just keep an eye on them, check them every now and then. Um, and there are things like Google Analytics, you know, uh, that's going to show you where your audience is coming from on your website. Uh, podcast platforms like what we use is Buzzsprout. They have analytics to show you the data of your show and episodes. So, uh, but then at the end of the day, you've got to remember content marketing is a marathon. It's not a sprint. If you run a marathon at the same pace you run a sprint, you will not make it unless you, yeah, because they're just different. So uh, it's about learning and growing and adapting and staying your pace long term. You know, be the tortoise, right? Um, finish the race, win. Don't get burned out. Don't lose all your energy. Don't like let your tank go on empty. Uh, be in it for the long game. That's what I wanted to hit on real quick in this solo episode about mastering your content marketing, especially as a one-person show, if you're just starting out or even just a small you know, um, organization like we are. It's about planning smart, creating with purpose, distributing wisely, 